Welcome! We're talking about solving absolute value inequalities today. And to join us on this wondrous adventure, you must be pretty cool with answering problems about absolute value. We should, for example, know that the absolute value of negative 5 is equal to 5. And you should also know how to solve some pretty basic inequalities. So you should be able to give me a value range for x based on that inequality right there. All we're doing today is putting the two together and solving what we end up with. So, for example, if I want to combine absolute values and solving inequalities into one wonder problem, let's go ahead and just say absolute value of x is less than 3. So remember what absolute value means. It means a distance from 0. So this means I'm looking for any number whose distance from 0 is less than 3. And so you should be able to tell me, well, if its distance from 0 is going to be less than 3, then it shouldn't be further away than, let's see, 1, 2, 3 this way. So it shouldn't be any further away in the negative direction than negative 3. And it shouldn't be any further away than 1, 2, 3 in the positive direction. So anything in here is close enough to 0 to satisfy our inequality. Let's not erase everything. All right. So you'll notice that our solution set is actually given by a compound inequality. You'll notice, hey, x had to be greater than negative 3. It had to be less than 3. That's how I got this range right in here. So this is actually the solution to this inequality. Notice how when you have an absolute value inequality, you end up with a compound inequality for your solution set. That is the magic of the absolute value. Remember, we actually have two numbers hidden in here. We have x and we've got negative x. So this whole absolute value here, well, everything that's inside of it could be negative, could be positive. Who knows? Again, the magic. All right. So let's take a look at solving a little trickier problem. Let's try absolute value of x plus 14 is less than 27. So remember, we want to take any x such that x plus 14 is no more than 27 units away from 0, if we were to draw them on a number line. Now, the trick is, that means that we, we need x plus 14. Well, it can't be any bigger than 27, right? Because if it's, if it's larger than 27, if we add these two together, and the sum is larger than 27, or even just 27, then its absolute value will be at least 27. That means it'll be too large, too large for this inequality. We need our absolute value, we need our distance from 0, of whatever we get from adding these two together, to be less than 27. So we know that x plus 14 has to be less than 27. We also know that it has to be greater than negative 27. If I add 14 to x and I end up with a, a sum of, say, negative 50, so let's say that x is negative 64, so I get 64, negative 64 plus 14 equals negative 50. Well, it's 50 away from 0. Absolute value of negative 50 is 50. That's too far away. We can only be 27 units away. So this is not going to work out for us. So here's an example to give you an idea of how we find out what that range should be. Just the first step is just read that inequality. Read it and ask yourself, hey, what does absolute value mean? Read the inequality. What does that mean? Always remember what absolute value actually means, and I guarantee you, you'll be all right. You'll be, have to be starting in the right place for a problem like this. And then the second step, which is really just the first step in a more complete fashion, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be setting, setting up new inequalities. Notice how we turned 
this one inequality into a compound inequality, which has two parts. So it's kind of like we have two different inequalities. We're satisfying two at the same time. We're satisfying x plus 14 greater than 27, sorry, less than 27. And we're also satisfying x plus 14 greater than negative 27. All right. Now, the beauty of this is we can just solve this big inequality here. We would solve any other inequality. So what if it has three parts? Fine. If I have four hands, wait, three hands, there we go. Somehow I have three hands. Imagine that. I've got three hands. So let's go ahead and draw three hands here. Those are my hands. It looks like a chef's hat or a muffin. So my hands are either fashionable or delicious, and perhaps they are both. And so I've got three hands. And hey, if I've got five apples in this hand, one, two, oh, let's uh, just a sec, three, four, five. I like my, my, my hands to be green. All right. And I have got a mere four apples in my middle hand. One, two, three, four. And a really paltry three apples in my off-colored right hand. Then, hey, no matter what I do, if I do the same thing to each of these hands, remember, if I add three apples to each hand, I'll still have more apples here on the left than I do in the middle, and I'll still have more in the middle than I do on the right. And remember, this is just how we, how we solve inequalities, just like that. We keep that in mind. Same thing, same principle with equations. All we have to keep in mind is the little trick we multiply or divide by negative numbers and in, in inequalities. But as I said, you knew that already, right? You knew that. You didn't read this, watch this video without knowing that, because I politely asked you to make sure you knew that. All right, so you squeezed in a little bit of review here. You got lucky. All right, so now what? Well, let's go ahead and just copy this down here so we have a little more room to work. But you'll remember that our inequality we were working on became a compound inequality that looked just like this. So if I want to get x by itself, we know what to do. Well, I can just subtract 14 from all three sections. It's so crazy. And I'll get 23. Wow, no I won't. I'll get 13 is greater than x, which is greater than negative 41. I don't trust myself right now with math. I mean, yes, uh, math, I'm so good at it. Yes, watch the video, learn. Um, trust me implicitly and things like that. So here is our solution. Exclamation point. Woo! Whoa. That's yeah, good enough. All right, there's our solution. 2 